today's adventure we are exploring the old 222 lane before they built what is now present day 220 or old 220 and now pa 150 so we are just below the um bald eagle state park the sayers memorial reservoir i think i, I don't know his can't remember his full name but that's what we're doing today before the rain comes it's pretty pretty wet out right now so it might have rained last night so that's the adventure today Pennsylvania, here we are. This is Old 220. The road's gonna end pretty soon. This would have been a crossing for 220. And now we're heading toward uh, the Sayers Lake, or oh, Bald Eagle Lake. There we go, got a decent shot. Just past a few metal, old metal guardrail posts. There, they're on this side. You can kind of hear 80. 80's behind us to my back right side. Trying to see if I can find any more of them guardrail posts. I didn't see any on the right side. Excuse me. So, the lake, Sayers Memorial Lake, whatever, Baldigo, is on the other side of this uh, hill. And then Nittany and Baldigo is obviously over there. They're following along that side of the mountain line. This pavement's held up pretty good, I think. It's just slowly being covered by uh, trees and some grass. And of course, your weeds and stuff.
the other side of the lake toward where the uh is that DCNR office at the north end? Is that what that is? Uh, no, I don't think so. well, there's a there's an office building at the other end by the uh, trailer park. The that part of old 220s in a little bit better shape. It's just cracked because I guess it's the old concrete highway. And then of course when it goes into the lake, it's it's really broken up. You know, yeah, it's kind of hard to see it. So somebody's taking their bikes over here recently because there's bike tread marks. Excuse me. Now I wonder what this is, because we've pretty much walked alongside it since we started our hike. It's a little bit of water. It's just sitting. Stagnant water or whatever they call it. Yeah. It's got a nice smell. Whew. We pretty much made it to the lake. Just waiting for Mike. Remington. Here's where two twenty goes into the lake.
The lake is slowly taking apart the road. What do you think it is? Eagle. What kind? Bald eagle. It is a bald eagle? Oh, that's cool. It's hard to pick him up. That's cool. So we're almost back to the crossing. Just gonna show you what it looks like coming from the north end of the crossing. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Go ahead, babe. There we go. There was some farther back. I'm pulling a branch. <laughs> Goes right into, there's one down there. Right there, yep. That's so cool. Okay. Hey, go, baby. That was unexpected. I don't see any on this side. But we're going to walk up to the cross and see. Ya. Right there's another one. That one don't have no cables to it, like that one back there did. There's another one. Now closer to the lake and into the lake, there is wooden ones, I think. They're about as, they were about as high as that first one off the ground, that hole. I don't see any more going that way. There's another one over here in the open with no cables. Right there, Mike. All right, now we're walking up to the crossing. Hasn't started raining yet. It's supposed to rain soon. Uh, yep, there's one more, yep. I'm looking for them now. They only go so far and then they stop. Let me just try to keep that again so it doesn't make a sound. Now if you do this, make sure Especially during hunting season. Make sure you wear anything orange, like a hat, a vest. I have my, well, it's inside out. I have a camo hat, but the inside's orange, so I have it inside out. And I might put a 
orange rain cover for the backpack on. And I have my and pretty bright color, so best I can do. Coming up to the nickname of Bald Eagle. I don't see any more of those guard girl posts. The only wildlife we saw was that uh, eagle, a duck, and I think I scared a, I don't know what kind of bird, but it was a chubby brown bird. And here's the crossing. And the road continues that way until the fence post or gate post, just like this. And this is the end of Old 220 coming from Mount Eagle facing Howard. Some railroad ties. This is part of that Gypsy moth. Huh. And that's back toward Mount Eagle.